what's going on survivors how's everybody doing out there hope better uh than where we're at right now we are on another lockdown i guess you'd call it a lockdown i don't know michigan check yeah so uh yeah you get the essential services i thought it was interesting today because uh we got an alert on our phones, kind of like an Amber Alert. And uh, what ended up happening was uh, had a spot that you could click on that you could go to. Um, I was kind of aggravated about it today. I put it on the, the TikTok page or whatever, but it sent you to a thing that had your orders. I'm thinking to myself, my orders? What, what do you mean by orders? You know, you're ordered to do something now? You're... It just kind of goes against, I don't know, freedom, maybe? You know, I thought I was allowed to be a free man, moving a, moving about freely, doing, uh, I don't know, whatever I want. You know, I'm free. I'm supposed to be free. So it just got me got me thinking. Figured I'd, I'd pop something up on here today. And uh, I guess we're supposedly on this lockdown and uh, there's restaurants that are going to be starting a lawsuit or something against uh, against the order because this time they won't just lose a ton of money and employees they'll actually end up probably having to close so I think they're suing I didn't hear the full thing on the on the news today but they'll be suing I guess to uh, reverse the order or something you know make it so they can still have people there or Something, it's just a whole control thing that um, I guess I'm looking to talk about. Just the control, I just don't know. It's uh, it's control. I mean, that's all there is to it. There's, there's just too much going on that's not, not normal. That wouldn't, I mean, when have we ever shut down anything for the flu? All right, with the flu, you got... <laughs> it's ridiculous. The whole thing's got me uh, kind of stressed out, but not too bad. I'm kind of, like, I've, I've had my good and my bad days lately, so it's been a little different. And uh, just trying to keep everybody cheerful. Just keep up on your preps. You never know when uh, they might lock down the grocery store or uh, they couldn't get something shipped in again because of, whatever the reason is makes you makes you think a little bit more about your preps and with the holiday coming up uh, it's going to be hard for a lot of people I mean this could be a long winter is what I'm looking at and I just don't know how long you never know nobody really knows we did a video a while back talking about the stuff we were having it was probably over a year ago it might have been two years ago or something about you know i'm preparing for economic collapse i'm preparing for you know what are you preparing for and you just never know which way it's going to shift is it is it actually going to be what you're preparing for or could it be something completely off the wall different that catches you right by surprise and uh we just don't know what it is but I would say, well, you have the chance. I mean, now only one of us can go into the store here. So, uh, us doing our little Dollar Tree runs is uh, kind of out of the question for everybody to go in and, oh, you know what else we need? Or, oh, you know what else we need? Or, I mean, even if, even if you just go in and get the $20 worth of stuff, it's only $20. I know. Right now, a lot of people are really budgeted out. And we were going so hard and... Uh, you know, pre-election and everything, but I don't know, it's just, uh, keep going, keep doing what you can, stack, stack the food, (laughs) the food and the water, depending on where you are, if you have access to water, or, uh, (sighs) if you live in the city versus the country, and I don't know, It's, it's still, once again, that plan for the worst, and or yeah plan for the worst hope for the best I always screw that up but everybody knows what I'm talking about <laughs> it's a good thing to be 
stacking stuff up. Look at that, man. I got some a little bit of sun over there. Looking in the picture there, but yeah. So let me know what you guys think. I'm always looking for uh, just a, another option or an opinion or an idea of something that might be of use or have some sort of value as far as um, any any ideas that make prepping stuff easier. That make I mean I I've been doing it for a while and. In the beginning, I was more, I don't know if you want to say completely survivalist or more, maybe I'm more of a survivalist now or whatever, but you, you're you really kind of prepping for your family, you know what I mean? It's that food insurance, you know, it's the, it's the daddy I'm hungry thing that you don't want to hear, you know, so as men, as women, you know, they're your children, as a father and a mother, you know, and you know, they kind of expect you to take care of them so why wouldn't you right so i would just say uh keep on keep on everything you're doing if you're if you're going at a steady pace i would just keep going if you uh have ideas for people that might make something easier for them some uh, easier way to stack on on less cash or a easier way to um I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking of options. I just got out of work. You know, there's no more overtime at my job anymore. So I've got a lot more time. I'm, I'm doing some side work, but it's, it's mostly about just getting everything in order. You know, our years ago, people used to, you know, grow their food all the time and get it ready for the winter, you know, can it, do whatever you can same thing just kind of be like a squirrel you know keep <laughs> keep socking away nuts <laughs> and uh that way one day when you do need them you know you're gonna have it there uh, you never know what the situation might be your job might shut down because of one of these um like i said the grocery store might shut down we don't know exactly what's gonna happen but make sure you have enough blankets you know there's a lot of stuff people don't think about but clothing and and stuff like that it could be really uh quite the necessity especially in the cold weather and everything uh i figured we probably ought to get some extra stuff for winter depending on what climate you're in oh shut this thing off for a second depending on what climate you're in you're gonna need stuff like that people don't think about it. i need extra socks i need another pair of boots and some of it's really actually kind of hard to get when you know you're on a tight budget but i mean even the dollar tree has socks we bought some extra socks for everybody that we're not even going to use we just set them aside just keep going i would uh i don't know how would just say uh do your best you got any good ideas let me know and we'll see you soon if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and we will talk to you guys soon have a good day